Hello everyone and welcome back to DaVinci Trades. As a crypto enthusiast like me, you've probably been hearing about NFTs online and offline. This dubs a question, what are NFTs and why are they important? Today, I'll be sharing everything you need to know about NFTs, so stay tuned to the end of this video so you don't miss out. Before I proceed, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with your friends and loved ones. This helps us grow our channel so we can continue to provide value to our listeners. Now, let's get to the video. First of all, what are NFTs? NFT, or non-fungible tokens, are digital assets that represent real-world assets like paintings, images, and more. NFT uses blockchain technology to verify authentication about who owns it. Let's take a look at the top 10 highest selling NFTs as of December 2021. Top 10 selling NFTs as of November 2021 with its last sold price. Every days, the first 5,000 days with last sold price of $69 million. CryptoPunk3100, $7.58 million. CryptoPunk 7804, $7.57 million. Crossroads, $6.6 million. Doge, $4 million. The first Twitter tweet, $2.9 million. The best I could do, $1.65 million. CryptoPunk 6965, $1.54 million. Axie Infinity Virtual Game Genesis Estate, $1.5 million. Auction winner picks the name. $1.33 million. With that being said, another big question that keeps popping on crypto enthusiast minds is why do NFTs exist? Well, NFTs are created to provide artists and creators with a marketplace to monetize their talent. In addition to that, brands use NFTs to market their products. A recent one is a creation of 25 taco theme NFTs or GIFs and images that got sold within 30 minutes of their listing on Rarible. However, NFTs have a few drawbacks. The first is that NFTs aren't like our common cryptocurrencies. For example, you can exchange one Bitcoin or Ether for another, but you can't exchange NFTs. Owning an NFT doesn't necessarily mean that you have exclusive rights. Its digital nature can be duplicated many times. You can only auction or sell an NFT in a marketplace, for example, on our common art galleries, so you can only make good profits as a creator of these tokens. In the early days of NFT, ERC721 assets, they were backed by real-world assets, meaning having an NFT gives you shares of a real-world asset or a project that created the NFT. But recent research shows that NFTs are not backed by anything these days, only one out of a hundred of thousands of NFT backed by real-world assets or projects. Before investing or buying an NFT, try your possible best to find out if it is backed by a real asset or by the project. In a nutshell, NFTs are not traded, they are auctioned. Do you know you can create your NFT? People think that creating NFT is so difficult. Not at all. The process of creating an NFT is easy and not as time consuming as it may seem. All you need to do is pick your artwork, which could be any digital file, including text, music or video. Once you've picked out what you want to put up for sale, you need to figure out which blockchain you want to use. The most commonly used cryptocurrency is Ether, and most of the biggest NFT platforms have Ethereum support. Assuming you've chosen Ethereum, you will want to have some sort of Ether on hand. This is because listing your NFT in a marketplace costs money, and that's why OpenSea is recommended for this. The process is free on OpenSea, but you will still need a digital wallet to create an account and sign up. Other examples of NFT marketplaces are Axie, Rarible, and Super Rare. Each of these platforms has its listing process, which involves typing up a NFT detail and uploading your item. And once all of that is said and done, you'll have successfully created your token. With that being said, the big question is what is the future of NFTs? Are NFTs the future of investing, or just a fad that will soon die out? Comment below with your thoughts. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.